secondary prevention means when someone has either a coronary artery disease, ha- had a stroke, has a peripheral vascular disease. And uh, in that particular scenario, if we are trying to uh, reduce their risk, that is pr- secondary prevention. Primary prevention is when someone has these risk factors, but has none of uh, the manifestations like the carotid intimal medial thickness is not increased. There is no uh, uh, evident coronary artery disease like angina or uh, uh, PCI has been done or a CABG, all these. So in that kind of a situation, the uh, antiplatelet agent aspirin is something which should be given to all these patients. And uh, I would say uh, statins and ACE inhibitors because these three agents will reduce their mortality when they are used on a long-term basis because we have evidence. So these are agents which are secondary preventive agents. Then there are some drugs which we will use for their symptom relief. And these drugs are beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, and these newer agents, actually nitrates have also been, there. nitrates can be put as second line agents and then we have this nicorandil, uh, car- um, uh, this um, uh, ivabradin, renolazine. These are agents actually um, which uh, are add-on therapies. So for symptom relief, we will be using either a calcium channel blocker or a beta blocker as the first line agent. Of course, along with short-acting nitrates, whenever. <laughs>